for this opportunity. I stand to express the feelings and the wishes of many Kenyans as far as this speech is concerned. And Madam Speaker, let me take a cue from uh, Honorable Zamzam when she said that when we debate some of these uh, speeches, we need to understand that we are here for the interest of the Kenyans. And honestly, uh, the way you we present our, our debates will impress on Kenyans on what they feel about it. When we stand in front of this chamber and we debate out of our thorax and mouth the way Honorable um, Muhammad Ali was doing, honestly, it creates no value. We come here to debate issues. We are not here at war. Madam Speaker, let me say that the speech of the president, to many, it was a very, very dis big disappointment. It was a dis disappointment because let us, first of all, take cue of when, during the time when we were campaigning, the promises that the Mwanainchi was promised by this government. It was the expectation of every Mamamboga, every Boda Boda, every hustler that life was going to be better than the way it is today. And if there's anything that Mwanainchi expected, that is what he wanted to read and understand from the speech of the president. Madam Speaker, let me tell you where the, the rain started beating us. The rain started beating us by passing out a punitive finance bill in this parliament. We talked about it, we discussed it, we could see the weakness of some of the, the elements that were in that bill, but there was nobody to, to hear because the numbers were less. The, the finance bill is the correct, I mean, biggest cause of the cost of living today. Madam Speaker, the other day on the 8th of November, Members of parliament from the government side were at State House. And they expressed openly that they have become less popular because of the cost of living. This is something is in, is in parliament domain. And I think the president, what he said was, you do not need to be popular. Indeed, if they, they feel they're unpopular, and they feeling what the Mona Inchi is feeling on the ground. Madam Speaker, I was keenly listening to the leader of majority here and his deputy and the kind of lies that he was, they were making to Kenyans. One of the causes why the cost of living is not going to go up any soon is the cost of fuel in this country. Madam Speaker, you and me know very well that Kenya went into an arrangement of government to government with the government of Saudi Arabia. Look at the players in this arrangement, first of all. If there is nothing that I can call a scam, this is the biggest scam, Madam Speaker. They are telling us that the cost of fuel is going up because of the war in Ukraine and the, the, the Hamas. How come the cost of fuel is going down in Tanzania, in Rwanda, in Uganda? What explanation can the president make out of that? It is in public domain that the companies who were given the tender to be bringing fuel tied their hands in such a manner that when the cost of fuel is going down, they cannot negotiate these terms. And you know very well, for as long as the cost of fuel will remain high, everything in Kenya will remain high. <laughs> Madam Speaker. What's your point about the Honorable KJ? Madam Speaker, as emotive and as misinformed as the Honorable Chonga might be, is it in order for him to say that we are speaking lies here or the President is speaking lies? The, to the best of my knowledge, Madam Speaker, this is very unparliamentary language that goes against even our standing orders, Madam Speaker. So I think it is in order that the Honorable Member withdraws that statement on the issue of lies. It is unparliamentary language. He needs to withdraw and apologize, Madam Speaker. Honorable Chonga, uh, to make a Ma Madam Speaker, if you heard me very well, there is nothing that I called a lie. Maybe I should use a different language for KJ to understand what I'm talking about. What did you say exactly? 
What I'm saying, Madam Speaker, is as the government or as the leader of majority has just as put it here, that the cost of fuel in Kenya is going up just because there is war in between Israel and Hamas. Why couldn't he go I mean, a step further and explain to the parliament why the cost of fuel in Tanzania, Rwanda, Uganda is going down? Simple. And if you did not understand it, for the better... Uh, Chonga, it is not your place to decide what a member says. You say your view and let the member say their view. Thank you. I stand guided, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I know my time is up, but I just want to make this submission. And if you'll allow me, because KJ has taken almost one minute of mine, I want to us to come to the realization that the Mwana Inchi is actually suffering. As much as we are fixing the, 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 the agriculture sector and many other sectors, we need to know how the cost of living can come down. And if we, 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 we play around with this matter, I refer back to what Pastor Mackenzie said, Kitawaramba. This government is in place because of the people who put this government in place where it is. It is the same people who are complaining about how life has become so unbearable. I conclude, Honorable Member. I'll give you an extra minute. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. So conclude. I'm concluding. Madam Speaker, with that realization that we are where we are because of the promises that we gave to the Manainchi, be you on the opposition or on, uh, on the government side, the feeling of the people on the ground is the same. If we insist that everything is correct and yet everything is going wrong, then Kuramba to Tarambo. Asante, Madam Speaker. The Honorable Member for Narrow.